Good day everyone! Today, I'm going to discuss to you about trigonometric identities pertaining for sum and difference identities. Let's take note of this formula. So you need to familiarize yourself with this formula for sum and difference identities for sine and cosine. To easily familiarize yourself with this formula, just always remember this will be cosine if we have the pattern cos cos sin sin and if it is sin cos cosine, automatic we use sine. If the operation in the middle term is plus, automatic we're going to subtract a and b for cosine. And if the operation in the middle term is minus, automatic we're going to add a and b. However, for sine, we're going to use as is. If we have the operation minus on the middle term, automatic we're going to subtract a and b. However, if it is plus, automatic we're going to add a and b. Let's try an example. For instance, we have cos 80, cos 20, plus sine 80, sine 20. Since it follows the pattern cos, cos, sin, sin, automatic we have cosine. Now, since the middle term is, or the operation is plus, automatic we're going to subtract a and b. Our a is 80. And our B is 20. 80 minus 20 is 60. Therefore, this is equal or the same with cos 60 degrees. Or, if we're going to simplify cos 60 degrees, we already discussed this. Cos 60 degrees is equal to, very good, that is equal to 1 half. Now, let's try another example. Cos 30, cos 35. Minus sine 30, sine 35. Again, it follows the pattern cos, cos, sin, sin. So, automatic, we're going to have cosine. Then, since the operation on the middle term is minus, or therefore, we're going to add A and B, since it is cosine. So, 30 plus 35 is 65. So, therefore, we're going to have cos 65 degrees. Let's try another example. Sine 30, cos 40 plus cos 30 sine 40. Since it follows the pattern sin cos cosine, automatic we're going to have sine. And then after that, since the operation in the middle term is plus and we're pertaining for sine, we're going to have as is, we're going to add A and B. Our A is 30 and our B is 40. So 30 plus 40 is 70. Therefore, we have sine 70 degrees. For instance, we have sine 65 cos 25 minus cos 65 sine 25. It follows the pattern six sin cos cosine. Automatic, we're going to have sine. Then, since the operation the middle term is minus, automatic, we're going to subtract the A and B. Our value of A is 65 and the value of B is 25. So therefore, 65 minus 25 is 40. So therefore, sine, it is also the same with sine 40 degrees. Let's try another example. Cos 50, cos 25, minus sine 50, sine 25. Since it follows the pattern cos, cos, sin, sin, automatic it will be cosine. And then, since the operation in the middle term is minus and we're pertaining for cosine, we're going to change the operation for A and B, and then we're going to add A and B. Our value of A is 50 and our value of B is 25. 50 plus 25 is 75 degrees. So therefore, it will be the same with cosine 75 degrees. Apply the sum and difference identity for sine and cosine in determining the exact value of the following. For instance, we have sine 15 degrees. We, don't, we can't get the exact value of sine 50 de 15 degrees. We on, only have 430, 45, 60, 90, 120, 135, 150, and so forth and so on. So if we're going to take a look, we, we can get the value of 45 and 30 degrees because if we're going to subtract that, that will result to 15 degrees. So we can rewrite sine 15 degrees as sine 45 minus 30. So the value of A is equal to 45 and the value of B is equal to 30. Now, since it is sine, we can rewrite this in the pattern sin cos cosine. 
and then we can get we can rewrite 45 and 30. 45, 30, 45, and 30. And then since it is minus and we're pertaining for sine, we're going to follow the, the operation minus as is. Now, after that, we're going to get the exact value of each trigonometric functions. So we have our trigonometric ex, um, val expressions. So we have sine 45. The value of sine 45 is square root 2 over 2. For cosine 30, we have square root of 3 over 2. Bring down minus. The, cos, the value of cosine 45 is square root of 2 over 2. And the value of sine 30 is 1 over 2. After this, we can now simplify. Multiply this fraction to this fraction. Square root of 2 times square root of 3, square root of 6. So we have square root of 6 over 4. Minus square root of 2 times 1 is square root of 2 all over 4. Since we have the same denominator, we can rewrite this into one fraction. Square root of 6 minus square root of 2 all over 4. And this will be our final answer. Let's try another example. For instance, we have cos 105. We can get the value 60 and 45 degrees for cosine 105. So we can rewrite this as cosine quantity 60 plus 45 because 60 plus 45 is equal to 105 degrees. Now, since it is cosine, we're going to follow the pattern cos cosine sin. And then write 60-45, 60-45. And then after that, since it is plus and we're pertaining for cosine, we're going to change the operation from plus, it will be minus. And then the same way on what we did on the first example, we're going to get the exact value of each, value of each trigonometric expression. For cosine 60, we have one half. For cosine 45, we have square root of 2 over 2, bring down minus. For sine 60 degrees, we have square root of 3 over 2, and sine 45 degrees is equal to square root of 2 over 2. Simplifying this, 1 times square root of 2 is equal to square root of 2. So we have square root of 2 all over 4, bring down minus. Square root of 3 times square root of 2 is equal to square root of 6, 2 times 2 is equal to 4. Since we have the same denominator, we can rewrite this in one fraction. So it will be square root of 2 minus square root of 6 all over 4. And this will be our final answer for cosine 105 degrees. So that's all. Thank you and happy math learning. Don't forget to subscribe on our channel so that you're going to be updated with the video tutorial. Thank you very much.